Thank you for watching Wasabi Aquarium channel. This video will discuss how to choose tropical fish that match planted aquariums, part 1. This video will be helpful for those who are considering putting fish in a planted aquarium and are wondering what fish to put in the aquarium, those who want to know popular types of fish, and those who want to know the tips in choosing fish. This video will be useful for them. I think many people do research on the internet or with books when they set up a planted aquarium and decide on the fish to put in. Even though research is possible, it is still hard to decide. The standard in choosing might not be clear, and it can be nerve-wracking if it does not match the design of the aquarium layout. This video will discuss the three tips of choosing fish. Just by understanding these three tips, you will no longer fail in choosing fish. Please watch this video until the end. The three points are 1. Choosing fish that match the layout design 2. Choosing fish with a size that matches the aquarium 3. Putting the number of fish that match the aquarium size I will talk about these three in order. The first tip is choosing based on layout design. This is the most important for planted aquariums. For an aquarium that just contains fish inside, you can simply decide with your feeling or the fish you think is beautiful. However, for a planted aquarium, you have to put fish that match the design and the waterscape of the planted aquarium. If not, there will be a slight difference in the feeling even though a beautiful aquarium is created. Putting fish that doesn't match will ruin the entire design, so choosing fish that match the layout design will be the most important point. For example, with this aquascape, which was in a few past videos, is an Iwagumi layout, or a grassland layout with dwarf baby tears. So, for this aquarium, only one type, just one type of aquatic plant is used. For this type of simple aquascape layout, and layouts with not too many types of aquatic plants, using only singular fish type will bring cohesion. I put this fish inside the aquarium yesterday, and it is called veal fin tetra. It is small and somewhat simple. I made them swim inside. For a simple planted aquarium like this, going with a singular type of fish is an orthodox way of thinking. For instance, putting 5 types, 10 types, 15 types of fish inside will make everything messy and the aesthetic unsettling. The important part is balance and harmony. To achieve balance and harmony, it is recommended that singular type or two types of fish at most is used. Myself personally, for a grassland layout like this, a singular type of fish is suggested. There is no issue putting maintenance fish such as octansinclus catfish and Siamese algae eater. However, for the main fish, there should only be one type chosen. For this aquarium as well, it is only included water lawn and it is a one type layout. So I put in one type of fish. It is Orzeus wowo rai. It is a very simple fish, but depending on the lighting, it shines metallic blue, and the body color is beautiful. In order to create a fresh impression, I didn't use flashy fish. Freshness is the biggest appeal of a grassland layout, so for the fish as well, only using one type is suggested. On the other hand, if you look at this aquarium, you can tell that many types of fish are used. This is a 120 centimeter aquarium. From the foreground plants to the moss to the fern plants and stem plants, I've used green and red and many types of plants. For an aquarium with many types of plants, you can match it with a singular type of fish or mix the type of fish, whichever is fine. For this kind of layout, you can choose either way. I think it is somewhat more interesting to mix the fish for this kind of layout.
It doesn't get boring when there are fish large and small, and there is change, so even if you look at it for a long time, it doesn't get old. For the grassland layout I previously introduced, the freshness is important, but for this layout, the excitement when watching is considered. The concept is different, therefore the way of choosing is different as well. The background is a neon green tetra. They tend to swim in packs, so it looks beautiful. On the front hand, swimming in packs is a white fin rosy tetra. On the larger side, and a golden tetra as well, which is yellow and glittery. It is very small, but there is a red tetra. It is good as an accent. This aquascape looks very exciting to watch. So, like this, I think it is good to consider what kind of aquatic plant is used, and using singular type of fish or mix when deciding the design. Next is choosing fish that match the size of the aquarium. This point is extremely important as well. This overlaps a little bit with the previous point as well, but the feeling of size is quite important for a planted aquarium. So, putting a big fish inside a small aquarium will make the aquascape look even smaller. The size of fish will decide the scale, so this is very important. For example, this aquarium is 60 centimeters in width, 30 centimeters in depth, and 36 centimeters in height. It is a standard 60 centimeter aquarium. The main fish inside swimming is a cardinal tetra. There are some other types of fish mixed inside, but basically no large fish is used. How large the size will be eventually will be important, but no matter the size it is in the beginning, but how large it is eventually is important. For a tetra like this, the size as an adult is not too big, so even with a 60 centimeter aquarium, it is okay. In fact, for a smaller fish, there is no issue as well. You can put brass borer type fish inside as well. Putting small fish will make the aquarium appear larger in scale, but using fish that is large in comparison to the aquarium is not suggested. For the fish as well, big fish have strong ability to swim and swim in large spaces. When they are trapped, they will be stressed and they will not show their graceful swimming. In this sense as well, it is not good. For aquariums around this, for example, a 60 centimeter aquarium, Fish that can be kept at 3 cm or 3.5 cm, 4 cm at largest, is suggested. In this sense, tetrotype and raspberry type have no issues. For the fish inside this aquarium, the cardinal tetra and butterfly rainbow, male type guppies, and sundidino alexorati, it is made up of fish on sale with the public. I will discuss the final and third point, adjusting the fish number according to the aquarium size and water amount. I am not sure if you can tell on camera, but this aquarium is 180 centimeters in width, 60 centimeters in depth, and 60 centimeters in height. It is extremely large in size. For a large aquarium like this, even if you put in 100 tetras, it will not be enough. However, as the aquarium size becomes smaller, the number of fish will be limited as well. So, on the point of how many fish can be put in according to the aquarium size, there is a video previously made on Wasabi Aquarium channel. The video that discusses how much fish an aquarium can contain is linked down in the description box below. For people who want to watch the video linked down, the content will be a little overlapped, but in the industry it has been said to put one fish that is 1 centimeter per liter. 
So, for example, for a 60 centimeter aquarium that contains just below 60 liters, and if we consider it to contain 60 centimeters, it can contain 23 centimeter tetras. However, going exactly along this calculation may not work out in many aquarium layout cases. For instance, with the first grassland layout, the space is taken in a huge manner, so just putting 20 small fish inside will create a lacking impression. In our store, we make 30 to 34 or 35 tetra oro or veil fin tetra swim. So, there is a need to consider the aquarium space and put more or less fish. For example, for a 60 centimeter aquarium with a driftwood layout with stemmed plants on both ends, 20 small tetras will just do. The number of fish depends on the management method as well. So, if you can maintain the aquarium often, you can put fish that is slightly large in scale. On the other hand, if you can't spend too much time, working with a smaller number of fish will be easier. I think it is good to be flexible when choosing the number of fish and be not too caught up with the calculation. For this 180 centimeter aquarium, the aquarium size is quite large, so I put in rainbow type fish that have strong swimming power and have the tendency to swim. For rainbows, it is good to let them swim slowly in a large aquarium. This orange or half orange fish is a half orange rainbow. The blue slightly large fish, which becomes extremely blue depending on the lighting, is a blue rainbow. And even though it is small, there is a coral reef fish. There are also frame tetras and purple emperor tetras. There are many types of aquatic plants inside, so I put in many types of fish as well. How did you like this video? For this video, I've discussed three tips in choosing fish for a planted aquarium. Within the three points, the most important point is the first point. Layout design is extremely important for a planted aquarium, so choosing fish that match the aquascape is crucial. Putting fish inside, doesn't it feel exciting? This aquarium did not contain fish, but since we put fish inside, it looks quite beautiful. For those who want to know in further detail and want to look at the color and body shape in larger photos and how large they become as an adult, I put the links down in the description box below, so please check it out if you are interested. This video is a basic condition, so I talked about basic facts, but since this video series was high in demand, I will create a next video. So, if you watch Wasabi Aquarium channel continuously, it will make us happy. If you have any questions or points you want to know, please ask from the comment section below. We cannot respond to each question, but if there are many similar questions, we will create a video on it. We will create videos number 2 and 3, and hope to answer the questions we received then. If this video was helpful, we will be happy if you subscribe and press the like button on our Wasabi Aquarium channel as a means to cheer us on. I will like to end this video here. Thank you for watching.